my name is Vanessa German. It's really wonderful to be here with you. Um, I've been on the road a lot this week, so it's really good to be in a car and not have to worry about taxis or airplanes right now. I'm going to read a poem for you that is a poem about a poem that I wrote. I wrote a poem to cure my friend of cancer, and I put a house in it. I put a house and a dream and a river inside of it, the sound of a riot of emancipated spirits cut loose from the noose between my fingers. I set it free like a gleam, like a shimmering incandescent flock of skydiving diva sun rays come to do a dazzling, dizzying midnight divination dance right here. I set it loose about the room off the tips of my fingers like a flurry of medicinal birds come to change the air with their flap dance and song. I made it sound like Baba we Baba we Baba we Baba Open the door of the poem as though a lion had left off of my tongue and into the horizon. I opened the poem with my hand on a door of a room marked infinite possibility. I said anything is possible. Absolutely anything is possible right here, right now. The poem took up residence inside of me and said, I don't care what you heard about on the street. This is where it happens. And I said, if, if my hands were anything other than hands, if my hands were anything other than hands, if my hands were anything other than hands, they would be two shooting stars galloping light across the galaxy. They would be a twin fandango of diamond studded fingerprints hopscotching a radiant neon merengue of light from each folded velvet edge of midnight into every tidy galaxy of 14 karat suns. And it may have sounded like I was just reading a poem, but what I was doing was curing my friend of cancer because that's what all good poems do. They offer you a place right between the lines where you can open up the seam and put a spell, put mystery, put a little bit of magic. A poem, a good poem will open itself up like a boat that you could lay anything down inside of. And I put the fury of my love so thoroughly inside of that poem that it rose up with tangible might. I set a medicinal remedy into the rhythm said if my hands was anything other than hands they would be a street corner jazz quintet they would be a ten-fingered symphony of saxophones trombones clarinets and trumpets wailing rowdy loud and proud right out from under my fingernails I set the song to rail and sent it around the room so that it might fall down upon your heads trickle over your ears rise up your skin take up residence inside of your rib bones and inside of that poem I made you complicit in the intention just by listening I said you too believe that we can cure my friend of cancer inside of the rhythm I had tumor eradicating power in the rattle tap rasma tap in the beep beep beat of your heart in the big bad jazz band of my hands I made a non-toxic non caustic medicine that had no ill side effects save for the tremble of love and then I set it free all around the room I said listen here if my hands was anything other than hands, they would be two magic wands. They would be ten abracadabra fingers for me to bring back every bebop, biscuit-baking grandmother that we ever lost, every sweet and remarkable friend that we didn't realize was either sweet or remarkable until death stole them from under our breath or while they was looking over our, their shoulder at the bus stop, all of a the sudden they was just gone for a moment. If my hands were magic wands, I would bring them back. And right then... Inside of the poem, I brought them into the room. 
and I set about harnessing the power of your mother's mother's mother and your father's father's father right here. I called the vision into the room and then I walked right towards it. I said, my hands are an entire conversation of miracles for me to cure you of any cancer that ever ailed you. They are a conjure woman's covered up spells and incantations. And right here, I have the power to reach inside your breastbone and cure your heartache. If my hands, my hands are anything other than hands they are a tangible forgiveness that I could rub right into your skin like lotion. Have forgiveness leaping from person to person to person. More infectious than HIV and tuberculosis put together. I said if my hands were anything other than hands, they would be two turntables and a microphone. And for the most part, people honestly think that I'm just reading them a poem. They really think that I have just come to entertain them. But what I'm really doing is calling in to the room the power of the sound. Of the sound, of the sound from inside the inside of the inside of the sound. And I make listeners complicit in any intention that I set in secret with inside those lines. So I would like to say thank you <laughs> to you. Would like you all to hold up your hands right now. Hold them up. Don't be afraid. Come on, it's Sunday. <laughs> hold up your hands. And I would like to thank you for your nimble, dexterous digits because they are wound with your own specific brand of make do life, make do magic, make do muscle because what you've got to do, you've got what you need to do it with. And we need you to bring it into the room, into the power, into the light because you might be the one that we have all been waiting for. So here is to you, rise, rise as in the sun. Get up from which you was and come on, move forward. Put one foot in front of the other and say something nice and tell your story. Then make a new story, then restory that story and rise. Thank you. Thank you.